Hey there folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back with a bit of a product overview review for you. Yes, I'm working away in tutorials in the background and I want to stay connected, so I sort of share something I find incredibly useful. And that's supervision specs. Here you go, these are them. Yeah, yes, it's sort of like, you like living in the future. Look at it, it's beautiful. Okay, now first off, these are magnifying headband spectacle things. I'd like to tell you what company made them, but I haven't got a clue. It's not written on the box, it's not written on the instructions. Yes, it's one of those, but I will put a link down below yet yeah, to where I got them from on Amazon, because they're brilliant. Now, if you're like me and you're greying a little at the sides, and you, you might be noticing, well, this is a little bit harder to read or to see than you know, in my youth, when I started painting models. And I never realized, you know, right, okay, how bad is my eyesight? And my eyesight isn't bad enough to need glasses, but it's not quite good enough to do models, re you know, like I used to. And so I picked these up. And I've got to say, they're absolutely brilliant. Now, when I say I picked these up, what actually happened was, I think I put them on my Amazon wish list. Yeah, that's down below. One of you fine folks picked them up for me. So first off, yeah, what do they do? Well, basically, it's a headband with a magnifying glass and like a, a torch on it that can magnify up to one times, one and a half, two times, three, two and a half times, and three and a half times. And so let me show me. Now, I really do like these, which is why I'm recommending them. Okay, so first off, I'm, you got this strap, never bothered with that. You got the instructions, uh, yeah, mostly in Chinese, and you can figure it out. So, simple headband, that sort of stuff, yeah. That's quite comfortable, the nose grip, where it rests on your nose. And then what you've got is, you've got this. Now, the batteries go in here. Yeah, so there are the batteries, and you would just pop them out as you did it, wouldn't you? Yeah, it takes triple A's, three of them. And they're like jumping beans in this one. Hold that there. That. Put that out. Get in there. I'm a model maker. Right, there you go. Professional all the way. So, what does that mean? What are the batteries for? Well, at the front, it's got these LEDs, and I've got to say, yeah, it doesn't look like much by way of a light. But when you're sitting at home and you're painting with a model, and you've got it up here, it's more than enough. And so, what I've found is, I don't actually use a painting light at home anymore. I do a lot of my model painting and small stuff at home, yeah, rather than the studio. I've got paints here and there, but I like to do my small stuff at home. And so these have been really good because it doesn't mean I've got to get any lighting or have a dedicated setup area. I can just pop these out and away we go. Now, on top of the light, yeah, a couple of things are adjustable. First off, you can adjust that, yeah, up and down, yeah. And that's basically where you want to look where your head is and where you want the magnifying glass in your field of view. So for quite often, I work up here when I'm painting. Yeah, so I have it quite straight. Whereas if you're someone who's perhaps sitting up here, but working down here, you might want to tilt that down a bit, so you can so you don't have to sort of cock your head over to get the magnification. Okay, so that's what that's about. Now, the lenses fit into there, but that's adjustable as well. Yeah, the closer it is, the closer the magnifying is to your face. I find pretty typically about halfway works for me. Then. Moving on, yeah, and you know I'm going to end up wearing these. You've got the lenses. Now these are actually glass by the looks of it. Yeah, you get glass or, I don't think they are actually. No, that, that's not glass. Yeah, cleaning cloth. And then basically the magnify, magnification is set on there. And all you've got to do is grab one of them, come along, yeah. Clip it into there, and that's all it takes to set it up. Yeah? And so you get to the stage where, right, it's time to actually wear them. Yes, I know I'm going to look like a Muppet. Hello! <laughs> now, 
right from here, that is my focal point and I can see every little bit of my finger. That's brilliant. Yeah, if I adjust it out, yeah, focal point's about there. If I adjust it back, focal point's about there. So I keep it about midway, okay? Now, when you're wearing one of these, yeah, what you will realize is that you've gotta be comfortable with yourself, people. You've really gotta be comfortable in your own skin because you're gonna be wearing them around your loved ones, your partner, your children, and you're gonna spend most of your time talking to them like this, yeah? With your neck crane back so you can actually look at them because it's easier than actually lifting this up. Yeah, so you'll be sitting there painting, 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 and you're like, yeah, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah? Now, unfortunately, I've tried to get a good camera image through the lens. I can't take a decent photo for you. Yeah, to show you how good the magnification, how good these really are. But I can honestly say, guys, it's, it's a rarity for me to come across a tool that is like, that I haven't come across before and it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna let these go. I might even get a second pair. Yeah, one for the studio, one for home, because they are so good. Yeah, which is why, you know, in this sort of little keep connecting video, I thought I'd let you know about them because they are so good. Now, yes, you do have to put, uh, you know, you do look a little bit silly, but they're really good. The other thing they're really good for, and I'm not suggesting you use them as reading glasses, but there's a few rule books that have little box sections with very tiny fonts. Quite good for that as well. Now, I don't think I'm at the stage where I need proper glasses because I can read normally and I can see long distances and short distances, but these are an essential part of my hobby setup. I know I wanna be absolutely clear, yeah, I've got no association with the company who made these. Yeah, wish I did. Yeah, but I haven't got a clue who made them. <laughs> yeah, but the link is down below. So guys, what I'm curious about is whether you've got anything like this. Yeah, whether you use any anything like this. But also, what other sort of tools that you wouldn't really associate straight away with the hobby do you find indispensable? And I'm not just curious. Yeah, there's, the whole thing about terrain making is there is no set tool set. That's why I've got all that. And all that, you know what I mean? And so I'm really curious, because I only really come across these not long ago, and I'm wondering what other tools are out there. So guys, what I'd like to know from you is, in the comments, let me know what sort of non-usual tool you find essential. And I'll start getting some of them in, we can start product testing them. But in the meantime, I would like to highly recommend, and I'm gonna get this properly, yeah, Eyeglasses, brack, headband, interchangeable magnifier with two LED, upgraded version. Oh yes, with security strap. <laughs> I know I'm taking the mic, yeah. And I shouldn't because they are actually a really good product. Yeah, so guys, if you're interested, if you do struggle with seeing your models or you can't have great lighting, that sort of stuff, or you want something for doing your fine work on terrain. I mean, I brought these into the studios because I'm doing a load of little stuff for the watch quote, for the Burma build and stuff like that. So I'm actually painting miniatures, but if you want some of these, I highly recommend them. And in the meantime, folks, yeah, get your comments down in, in below. If you're liking me being back on the channel and you want to help me get back into the rhythm, then I do need your help. Yeah, I've lost quite a few patrons over the last sort of year or so. So you can jump on patrons on the link below. And if you don't want to commit to a monthly thing, jump down below, watch click. There's a wish list there. There's also the link for the PayPal. You can jump on there, send me a one-off so I can pick up some more stuff to review and that sort of stuff. It all helps. Above all, hit the comments, guys. Let's get chatting. And in the meantime, crack on, yeah? All the best, crack on. Ah, screw that. Oops. Right. They're really good. See, this I, I used to have this down to tea. I used to have this down to tea. Right. Well, if you like the show, the links are down below. In the meantime, folks, crack on. All the best, yeah? Tell. Yeah.